If you're looking to start a digital marketing agency or you've been out for a couple of years, maybe you have a few clients, maybe you're doing five, 10, 15 grand a month, but you really wanna dial in your system so that way you can get your clients predictable results, you're going to wanna pay attention to this video. So hey there, my name is Matt Wasik. I'm the CEO and founder of Landscape Marketing Pros. We're a digital marketing agency currently doing about $26,000 in monthly recurring revenue at the time that I'm filming this video. I made it my mission to help digital marketing agency owners bypass all of the stress, the headaches, the roadblocks, the pitfalls, and basically everything that that I had to endure over the multiple year time span that it took to even just get to this point. And I don't want that to happen to you. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is going over 14 different tools that I use in my agency, which we offer website design, SEO, and review syndication as one package. And then another one is Google Ads focused. And we're gonna go over exactly what tools we use in order to manage all that, make sure the clients get results. It's very easy for them to do business with us and make sure everything is streamlined and completed efficiently. And again, focusing on client results so that they continue paying us and we can have a nice profitable sustainable business now briefly before i want to begin i want to direct your attention to just the description down below the video as well as the pinned comment tons of you guys have been asking on instagram and the dms as well as in our facebook group and even here on youtube in the comment section about when i'm going to come out with some type of formal training the wait for that is almost over i have opened up access though to a vip enrollment list where you click the link in the description or the pinned comment you want to join that list because you'll be able to enroll one full business day before i announce it here on youtube and everywhere else on social Social media and what that's going to do is allow you to get access to several bonuses that are only going to be available to the first few founding members and once they're gone they're gone these are going to include things like lifetime access private q a coaching with me and a whole lot more so again that's first link in the description as well as the pinned comment beneath this video so anyways moving into the training when it comes to building a digital marketing agency one of the things I wanted to figure out in the beginning was how do I do all this stuff? How to make sure that I can actually fulfill the work for the clients when they do sign up. And by the way, I did just release a video a few days back on what software to use when it comes to the sales process. So I'll link that either up in a card or down below the video or something like that. Check that video out. It goes over all the different software that we use when it comes to getting leads coming in and how to actually close them and the software we use for our sales calls, all that sort of good stuff. All right, so the operations related software. What is the first thing that we need with a digital marketing agency that does web design, SEO, Google pay-per-clicks and review syndication for Google? So the first thing is gonna be website hosting and you could probably throw in a domain registrar as well. So for domains, typically it's Namecheap, sometimes GoDaddy, depends on the client. Some clients actually own their domain in somewhere else, we usually, allow them to have that in place and just keep it there. That way they just pay it and it's just it's all good to go. But we will then host our website using SiteGround. And by the way, we have a link in the description to a document list that has basically all these tools listed where you can get access to that and be able to know exactly all these tools all in one central place. But so SiteGround is very, very, very affordable for their hosting, great speed with their website load times, as well as amazing support where you can get access to someone to answer questions within a few minutes, usually 24 seven. So highly recommend SiteGround for your website hosting. And so the next tool is actually going to be something that I use for just kind of managing the actual build process and for me to be able to keep track once been done. And that's a tool called Lucid Chart. And so that's a tool where we can basically draw out a map on a graph and we will usually use these for plotting out the website build. So obviously with my agency being focused on landscape companies, a lot of what we build is, is very, very similar. Some companies offer different services, of course, but again, we do the same main category of services, landscaping, outdoor living, irrigation, snow removal, and so forth. So we can just kind of just copy and paste it and the website's the same structure. That's, that's why we do niche focus agency instead of working with HVAC companies, dentists, chiropractors, and, and whatever else like that. It's just a whole lot easier when we're streamlined with a niche focus agency, which, which is just so much more simpler to run. And I believe a whole lot more profitable of an endeavor as well. So we use that. I mean, there are other CRMs out there and we'll probably get into one as we grow and I actually start hiring employees. But for now, Lucidchart works great. So the next tool is actually going to be related to time tracking. And so that's gonna be with a tool called Toggle. And it's a free tool. They do offer some paid plans, but I've been able to use this for free for multiple years now. And obviously we're doing the numbers that we're doing with the, the volume of clients and still able to just use the free plan. And what you're able to do with this is track how much time goes into each client's account, so to speak. So what I like to do is be able to know how many man hours are going to be put into working for that client for that particular month. So obviously, for for us with the way we structure our programs, clients will pay a fixed monthly rate for like website and SEO and review syndication. So the first couple of months are a little labor heavy and then a lot less as we get further on because we use a little bit of a hybrid white label model when it comes to the SEO side of things. But I wanna know exactly how many man hours so we know how profitable we are by the man hour vested into the 
client's account. So you go into the software and you add your client in, and then you also set up a project. And that's essentially what you clock into when you start doing work for that particular client is that a client's project. So we have one for the SEO based program. And then we also have one for the Google ads based program. If a client is running both that way, we can know exactly how profitable we are on each one of those. And so I highly recommend getting that tool or some type of time tracking each one of your client accounts when you or your employees start working on whatever it is that you are doing for that particular client. So the next tool is going to be something for building your clients websites and even your own agency's website, which I had covered in the earlier video with the sales software. The tool I recommend for that is going to be Elementor Pro because it makes it incredibly easy to build a great looking website and makes the client's company look very, very professional but also produces a ton of leads because we throw in calls to action. We just make it very easy for their prospects to get in touch with the company and do what matters most with a digital marketing agency, which is produce results. And I really don't care what people say when it comes to having their ego attached to how much labor they put into building a client's website. If they're going to do all HTML or, or code it all themselves or whatever like that, you just don't have time to do those types of things. If you want to hire someone to do that, that's perfectly fine. When you're a business owner, you're solo, you need to get these things going as fast as possible so you can start getting your clients results as quickly as you possibly can. That's where tools like Elementor come into play because it's a drag and drop website builder. It makes it so incredibly simple to build great looking websites that in my opinion, there's no better option than to go to a tool like that. It's a very affordable software that's going to save you a ton of time. Okay, so now that we have the website builder in place and everything else before that, now the next thing we need to figure out is how do we actually deliver the leads that are coming from our client's website to them. So the first tool that we use with this, basically that's a two part system, is a contact form called Gravity Forms. And so this tool allows us to build custom contact forms that we can build out onto our client's website and we just install them with just basically copy and paste and some basic code. And what this enables us to do is get all the information of our client's prospects and conveniently get all that information delivered in an email, which again, we'll show you the system here in a little bit that we use combined with this. And the beauty with Gravity Forms is that for, I believe 260 bucks for the year, at least at the time that I'm filming this is how much we are paying for it. You are able to completely customize forms. For example, with the clients that we work for being as their landscape contractors, they offer a lot of different services. It's not just like it's a one thing, like a plumbing, repair or, or something like that. Landscape contractors offer a ton of different services. And so this could be anything from installing mulch and sod and planting shrubs to renovating the entire backyard, installing a concrete patio, pergola, maybe even a swimming pool and paper patio and a whole bunch of other things like that. So what we usually will do is get as many different qualifying bits of information that our client can receive from their prospect so that way they know exactly what this particular client is looking for and even ask about what the budget may be. So that way they can gauge, hey, is this even a good lead? Do we even want to pursue this? And so with that tool, and there are other contact form builders out there, but I just found this one to be just the easiest and simplest to kind of just get everything connected into WordPress and then connect into the software to actually deliver the leads to our clients via email and use the tracking that's in place. And we'll cover that here in just a minute. And so the next tool that we use is displaying reviews on the client's website. So this is for a couple different reasons. First is social proof. I mean, that's one of the biggest reasons that people buy anything. When's the last time you purchase anything online, whether that's Amazon or any other e-commerce site that did not have reviews, you probably didn't. And it's the same thing with a local business's website. And so you want to use some type of Google review display software. There's a ton out there, Bird Eyes, one of them, Elf Site, and a whole bunch of other ones. And what you'll do is basically connect your client's Google business profile to the review display software, and then they'll just provide code that you add to your website. And it basically creates a widget that displayed on the website and shows the reviews as they're posted, usually within 24 to 48 hours of the new reviews going onto the client's listing. And that's one thing that's gonna really help your clients stand out in their local market is because they have reviews on the website their prospects can see, hey, this person had this done, this work done, and this and this person had this done, and they did a really good job, all these five-star reviews. It's only gonna be able to help them get more leads, that the snowball effect of just all the social proof building, and that turns into more reviews from those clients, and it just keeps building and building and building, and reviews being displayed on your client's website is an absolute must at this point in time. The next thing that we need to do is have some type of call tracking system. Now, this is something that I struggled with trying to figure out for multiple years. I was trying to use CallRail and Twilio, a whole bunch of other ones, and then I came across what converts. And so this tool was a little bit more expensive, but when you get to the agency plan, it's actually not too bad considering how much usability that we have with it. But 
this tool is amazing because of course we can create call tracking numbers which we have on every single client's website as well as their google business listing and all their directory profiles it's kind of some seo stuff if you're not familiar with that but we also are able to connect this into gravity forms the tool that we use for the contact forms and sync that into the client's account within what converts which we're able to provide our client with a dashboard where they can log in and see their their lead flow stats at any time but when someone submits the form through our client's website our client gets an instant email notification from what converts which shows of course all the data the name address uh, contact inform information services they want all that sort of stuff but also we're able to track what page the prospect landed on and then where they converted so for example let's say they landed at the page that is a page all about paper patio installation and, they, and then they navigated to the contact page where the form is and then they submitted the form it's going to show all that data right there so we know exactly what pages are getting traffic and we can really just kind of dial in our seo even that much more because we see hey this page is performing very 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 well let's make sure we get this at the top of the search results to keep these leads coming so an awesome tool great support as well so i highly recommend using what converts for your agency because you're able to have all those things seamlessly plugged in without having to worry about code and all that sort of stuff that make it very easy to get all these things set up and dialed in with their own wordpress plugin and one of the things that i had no idea how to get started with was sending over reports so how do i send things like traffic stats the lead flow stats rankings with where they're currently at how do i show all the google business listing rankings and all that sort of stuff so agency analytics solved all of this problem for me and in one convenient report we can even have a dashboard if we want to set that up for our clients but we just typically just have them do leads lead flow stats since they're really not too in tune with like seo and traffic stats and that sort of stuff but we send the report once a month and basically this is going to contain all of that data so we have our search rankings with where the website is ranked at which each one of the pages for specific keywords and the search volume and the location based on where that person would be searching from so like landscaping near me in minneapolis minnesota for example if we have a client that's serving that area we can see exactly where the client's website is ranking for that particular search it also shows all the lead flow data because what converts plugs right into it google analytics google search console all of that is plugged in we even use our directory profile tracking which is called bright local we'll get into that here in a minute that's all connected in into one convenient report that we send over to the client and they can check that out and get all that data when we send those out at the beginning of each month and one thing i learned is that so many of our clients that come in once we start getting leads coming in consistently they don't even open the reports they just they don't care and i was actually kind of surprised by this but as long as leads are coming in they are out selling the jobs and making sure their crews are getting everything done they could probably care less about the rankings so it's all kind of part of how we sell the service program as well we're not really focused on ranking we're just focused on solving their problem but that's just one of the things i learned and I thought that was just kind of surprising. So you might experience that if you learn to sell the correct way with your agency instead of being the commoditized SEO guy when you actually sell it as a magical lead or money delivery system. But moving on, the next tool is going to be Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So I kind of compile these into one tool even though they're two separate ones but basically we just want to know exactly what the traffic stats are i mean we don't really focus and, and worry too much about traffic it's really just about leads coming in but we also like to see the google search console so we can see what people are typing into the search results and what they're clicking on when they go to the website so oftentimes it's going to be the company's name or it's searches like landscaping near me or yard drainage contractor near me paper patio builder minnesota or something like that and so we can see exactly what people are typing into the search results and what they're clicking on what the approximate position was in the search result for where those clicks were coming from and a whole lot more so Make sure to use Google Search Console. Connect that in with Google Analytics so we have really accurate numbers. And for the clients that do want to monitor that, they can see that right then and there, of course, in that report with agency analytics. So the next couple of tools are going to be two different SEO tools that I would recommend using. The first one is Majestic SEO, and the next one is Ahrefs, specifically their backlink checker. And one of the things that I've focused on with having a niche agency and only really working with one type of business is that the keywords and everything are identical across the board i mean there might be a couple searches that are, are more popular in certain areas of the country versus others but for the most part it's pretty much the exact same thing it's the same services the same types of near me services and city state type services, so like landscaping minneapolis minnesota or patio contractor near me and so forth and it's basically the same thing that's why i like focusing in on just one niche and really just honing in on that because it just makes it easier and more streamlined and more efficient 
So that's why we don't really use the crazy comprehensive SEO tools because we build things right the first time with the website and not make sure all the on page and everything is all on point. But when it comes to like the off page SEO, I do like to see the backlinks that are showing up within Ahrefs and then Majestic SEO and being able to see all that data, even though we are the ones that are doing it, it's just good to know when those things are kind of crawled and recognized. So one other tool that we use here and there is Zapier. And so this is essentially a software that allows other softwares to just plug in and connect to each other. So we use this with a couple clients that want to have their text messages that if someone comes to their website they call them they're busy out in the field and they can just say to the client hey can you just text me your name and address and date and time or whatever it is for their meeting and that way the text message if it's just with what converts it's going to go to their email but with zapier we can have a communicate to what converts to send it to the client's smartphone that they have for their business and then get that data and then enter it into their crm and go up go from there with the follow-up and scheduling their their appointment for the estimate that they're going to go do so that's a tool that is very very easy to use it took 30 40 minutes just to kind of set things up and it's just kind of replicatable for the clients that do want it and I believe we pay about 30 bucks a month for the software subscription. So the 13th software that we use is one called Bright Local. And there are two primary functions that we use with this particular software. So the first one is tracking citations. So those are directory profiles. Those are gonna be online profiles for the business on websites like Yelp and Silex and N49 and chamberofcommerce.com. And I mean, there are hundreds out there, probably even thousands at this point, but we just want to be able to track kind of where they have directories and, and make sure we get as many of those as we can for our client, because those are basically all websites that are sending signals to Google that, hey, this website in this business is trustworthy, get them higher and higher in the search results. And so we can track that in that particular software. They offer a couple other services, but agency analytics covers a lot of those things like rank tracking and so forth. But one other tool that we use within the software is their map rank tracking. So we plug in their Google business profile into their system and plug in some of the keywords that we're targeting like landscaping or lawn care, patio builder, snow removal, whatever the particular services are that the client offers. And their software will run a scan based on the client's location of the Google business profile and we can see where it's ranking at in terms of the proximity and like within a specific distance of where the headquarters are of the company or where the Google business profile is located. So it creates a nice interactive map like you can see here on the screen. And the cool thing is that this will create an external report that we can link to from the actual agency analytics report. Clients can check that out. They can actually see the ranking time frame. We usually will run the scan once per month. They can see the progression over four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, whatever months of how much we've helped them improve their Google business profiles visibility and in turn, of course, generate more leads as a result. So pretty affordable software. I think it's like 45 bucks per month for the software itself. And then the, the actual credits for the map rankings is probably 150 bucks a month for all the clients across the board, maybe 200, something like that kind of depends. So again, very affordable and also helps us track and being able to see exactly the progress that we're getting with their Google business profile and its visibility. So the 14th and final software here of this video is Gusto Payroll. And you probably think, well, what does this have to do with me? I'm just one guy working, just trying to get this business going. Know this ahead of time, depending on the structure of the company that you have. And if you're outside the United States, I have no idea how it works out there, but in the US at least with an S Corp specifically, that's at least how my company is structured. You might have something different, but just check with your accountant to figure this stuff out. But what I had to do was actually figure out a way to pay myself a salary. And so rather than having to do all the different tax filings and just calculate all those numbers, it's so much easier to pay this software company 60 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month or whatever it is to just do it all for me. And then you just run payroll twice a month or, or once a month, you can do once a week if you wanted to, whatever type of frequency you wanna do, pay yourself the salary. And again, talk to your account on how much you should pay yourself based on the income that's coming into the business and your profit and so forth. But I use Gusto for paying myself as an owner. And then when I do start hiring employees, which I anticipate here within probably the next six months or so, that's most likely how we'll pay them as well. The cool thing is it just calculates all the taxes, all that sort of stuff for your salary that you're paying yourself, and then just deducts it from the paycheck. And that way you don't have to necessarily worry quite as much about next year's tax time and having to pay a massive, massive bill. So again, make sure to talk with a CPA. I'm not a CPA or financial advisor or any of that sort of stuff. I'm just someone who owns a business and who's learned a lot of these things over the years. So I'm not qualified to give advice on this, but this is just my take on it. And that's just the tool that I use for it. 
So that is a full rundown on the tools and software I use within my digital marketing agency to keep everything managed and streamlined. If you have questions on anything that I covered, be sure to go down below, leave a comment. And if you liked this, I appreciate if you went down below, dropped a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live here on the channel. Got a lot of stuff in the works. If you do want to get onto the VIP enrollment list for when I do open up the new program, go down below, first link in the description, as well as the pinned comment. Get on that list, and that way you can be one of the first to gain access when, when we do open up the program. If you're watching this one month, two, six months, maybe a year in the future from the actual filming and uploading of this video, it's probably already out and it'll be linked in the description as well as the pinned comment down beneath as well. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.